Hey everybody, Dr. Schlater, Unit 7, Lesson 5, Activity 3, Drinks for Sale. And we're looking at positive and negative numbers, especially how they indicate change. So a vending machine in an office building sells bottled beverages. The machine keeps track of all changes, there's that word, in the number of bottles from sales and from machine refills and maintenance. So the machine keeps track. Bottles leave because of sales. Bottles are added because the machine gets refilled. This record shows the changes for every five minute period over one hour. So what you see here are five minute time periods and changes to the number of bottles. So for example, from eight o'clock to 804, the change in the number of bottles is negative one. The number of bottles goes down one. From 805 to 809, the change in the number of bottles is positive 12. They've got the plus sign there to really indicate that it's positive. You don't have to have that, but they've put it in this example. So the number of bottles went up 12. All right, so let's think about what these numbers mean. What does a positive number mean? Positive number that, well, why would the number of bottles in the machine go up? Why would it go up by 12, for example? Well, let's look at the words that we have up here. The machine keeps track of all changes in the number of bottles from sales and from machine refills. Aha, if we refill the machine, the number of bottles goes up. So that mean that the machine was refilled. A negative number might mean bottles, or what what would make bottles go down in the, in the machine? Well, how about sales? Might mean bottles were sold. All right, what does zero in the second column mean in this context? So for example, from 835 to 839, zero. So what we could say is that neither of these things happened. So we had no refill, no refills, or sales at that time. So nothing happened to the machine between 835 and 839. Which numbers, positive or negative, result in fewer bottles in the machine? Well, definitely not positive numbers, because when we talk about positive, we're putting bottles back in to the machine. So this one has to be negative. At what time was there the greatest change to the number of bottles in the machine? How did that change affect the number of remaining bottles in the machine? Where do we have the biggest change? Now, I want to be really careful here that what I'm talking about is that I need to talk about not just positive or negative, but just the biggest number ignoring positive and negative signs. What's the biggest number? And it really seems like if that's 24 right there, that's the biggest number. All right, that time, let's write down the time. That was 850 to 854. How did that change affect the number of remaining bottles in the machine? The machine was refilled to get 24 more bottles. Okay. At which time period from 8.05 to 8.09? Okay, you know what? I'm going to highlight that just so that we can keep track of that. Um, so from 8.05 to 8.09, or from 8.25 to 8.29, was there a greater change to the number of bottles in the machine? Huh. And we're just talking about change here. How big was the change? For the first one, the change was 12 bottles. We got 12 more bottles because we refilled the machine. From 825 to 829, the change was 12 bottles, but it's a negative number because the number of bottles is going down. We are selling bottles. Which change was bigger? Well, that's a change of 12, and that's a change of 12. It's the same change. 
So we have the same change. Twelve bottles, both time periods. The change is the same. Yes, there's something weird going on here in that one is positive and one is negative, but the amount of change in the machine is still the same. The machine must be emptied to be serviced. If there are 40 bottles in the machine that is to be serviced, what number will go here? All right, so what number is going to go in this space? That's what we're asking. Well, I have to take bottles out. So that means it's got to be negative. And I have to take all the bottles out. So I have to take out 40 bottles. So that's going to be negative 40. And the reason why is we have to remove all bottles in the machine. So the remove means negative, and the number of bottles is 40. 